Hi everyone, I'm Christy Forsythe with Clarity by Christy. I am a soul therapist and an intuitive that connects with the angelic energy and I help the helpers, the healers, and the light bringers of this world to live their most magical life. So if that's you and you're watching this replay on my YouTube channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button below with the bell so you can get notifications for all the videos that I'm sharing here on this channel. If you're watching this on my Facebook and you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, make sure that you swing by there. I'm still working on the summertime reading. So I will have those up along with some other videos as they come out. So make sure that you get yourself subscribed. I don't always share them over here on my Facebook. So we're going to be talking about this week's energy. So what do we have going on with this week's energy? What messages do the angels have for us and how we can best get through the week, how we can best navigate this week and the energy that we have going on. It feels lighter in, in some ways. Um, I think that, you know, we had been, May was such an energetic roller coaster in so many ways, and that was absolutely challenging. And I think it's taken us a little while to be moving away from that Mercury retrograde energy, um, to step out of the shadow aspect of that. We are officially out of that now. And it feels, it feels a bit lighter. And happy summer solstice, by the way. I'm filming this on the solstice. It just feels good. It feels light. It feels like we're moving into this uh, or we're taking advantage of this mid-June lighter energy a little bit. And of course we have stuff going on, but I think that we're kind of um, in a place where we're starting to reap the rewards of some of the work that we've done. So when I connected with this energy, it, it became really clear that we have, we have matured, you know, there's a maturity that has happened for us as a collective through all of the work that we have been doing. So number one, if you've been doing your shadow work, if you've been listening to your soul, you've been working on yourself and so many of us have, you're going to be seeing some of the rewards of it. You're going to be seeing some of like the lighter pieces of that, right? There is a maturity that's happening. There is an awareness that we're not the same as we used to be. And and I would watch for the way that God, the universe, whatever you call that, is going to be showing that to you this week, okay? Going to be highlighting that for you this week because this is absolutely going to be happening where we're noticing like, wow, that in the past would have really bothered me or that in the past I would have um, been, been really upset by that or I would have had this reaction to that and now I'm having this reaction to that or that would have been a really hard boundary for me to set in the past. So we're kind of recognizing this progress that has happened because I think that we're gonna be presented with scenarios and situations that give us an opportunity go, to go backwards but we're choosing to go forward. And, and that is the message is to choose to go forward, to not stay stuck in the past, to not stay stuck in these habits that um, we know don't serve us. I actually had somebody reach out to me this week and, and they were saying how they had gotten a bit off of their routine over the weekend and how it had thrown them quite a bit. And I feel like that's very much this collective energy is this awareness that we can't do things the way that we used to do them. We've progressed too far, right? When you have worked on your energy, when you have worked on raising your vibration, the lower vibrational things are no longer going to work for you or it's going to feel uncomfortable, right? So you might find yourself trying to, for example, connect with old friendships over this week and you recognize like, wow, this just isn't a fit. You know, our energies are too different. We are in different places or, you know, trying to revisit maybe an old job or something or just trying to go back and recognizing it really doesn't fit anymore. And it, it or, or habits that were once part of your day to day and suddenly you're starting to take a look at them and ask yourself, does this still belong in my life? You know, does this still have a space in my life or do I need to make some changes? And I think 
when we've progressed, we're going to start to recognize like certain things just don't belong anymore. Certain things just don't align anymore. And we are starting to expect better for ourselves and ask better for ourselves and take better care of ourselves and raise our standards. And so I think that we're going to be finding ourselves putting that out there this week. Like this is now what I'm looking for. This is, you know, where I want to, um, my choices and uh, the, the direction that I want to move in. This is the direction that I want to go. Um, and it's forward, right? It's forward. It's not going back to things that we've already learned don't serve us, don't work for us, didn't work for us before, and they definitely don't work for us now. Because again, we're not the same people. We're not, it, 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 it just isn't going to connect. And, and so we're going to be having these reminders. And the question becomes, again, we've been talking a lot about this, but what is the future that I want to create for myself? And where do these, these things fit? Do they fit at all? And if they do, if there's a space for them, what needs to be adjusted in order to allow for them? Or if there's not a space for them, I see us continuing to move forward and, and you know, disconnect from those things that no longer align. But I think really the focus is on how do I continue to mature? We have this Saturn retrograde, and to me that's like very connected with maturity, with development, with us building upon the foundations that we have already created for ourselves uh, and continuing to work on that and progress definitely progress, right? And I think this is a good time to also take a step back and recognize where you have progressed. Although I think it's going to be very clearly highlighted for us this week. This is how you've progressed, where you're almost like, how did I do that before? How did that work for me before? Where like that that person that reached out to me, like how did, how did I, how did my normal weekend look like that for me before? And, um, how did it not throw me off so much in the same way that it threw me off this time around? It The weekend wasn't different. The You are different, right? We are different. And so we need different and we need things to show up differently in our lives. I also very strongly got a message this week about karma, right? And so... So many of you that I'm connected with are very focused on putting good energy out there, putting good karma out there, right? And so for so many, this is going to look like amazing gifts coming into our experience. It's like the energy that we've been putting out there is coming back. Now, if you have been focused on putting negative energy out there, uh, you know, um, sending negative energy intentionally someone's way or, um, you know, doing things that you know aren't in alignment with the right thing to do, the good thing to do, the kind thing to do, that's going to come back. And I think that we're going to be seeing some of that showing up in our experience this week. And so if you have something showing up for you that, I mean, because we're not perfect, right? We're human. We make mistakes. Things happen. If you have something showing up for you, take a step back and ask yourself, what do I need to learn from this? How can I do better moving forward? Why is this showing up for me? Where do I need to make some tweaks? What do I need to be doing differently so that I feel better about the person that I am and the way that I'm treating people or the, the way that I'm approaching things? And, and so that I'm also receiving better energy back. Remember that. The energy that you are sending out there is the energy that you're receiving back. And so we can also trust that we don't need to, and I talk about this a lot, but we don't need to, you know, get revenge on anyone or um, wish ill upon anyone or any of those things. In fact, if you do that, you will get that energy back at some point, okay? So what we want to instead do is just trust that the universe has certain laws and the universe is taking care of it. And, and that energy will be returned without you needing to muck up or dirty your energy in any way. So knowing that that happens and ideally we want to be in that space of like truly wishing everyone well, truly trying to approach everything from a place of divine love and um, 
as much as we possibly can, seeing everyone and everything through the eyes of love and, and trusting that we're all learning, we're all growing. I definitely think that this is a great time to focus on a growth mindset. In fact, I think that we're gonna find ourselves really connecting with that. This is a great time to work on some personal development, to get some new personal development books. I, I love personal development books. Um, uh, my most recent one that I'm reading currently is Ed Milet's book. Um, I think it's like The Power of One More, something like that absolutely incredible, but I'm like big time fan of his anyway, but I definitely recommend that if you're looking for something, but so many, what I always encourage people go to the bookstore, notice where your eyes get pulled, let your intuition show you what book you need to read or show you what podcast you need to listen to, show you what video you need to watch next. So there's definitely a focus here on growth and can we dive into that energy and let it shape us, let it make us into something better. Um, because I, I very much feel like, I was talking about karma, I very much feel like we wanna be mindful about the energy that we're investing in. What is my energetic investment? We can be very mindful of what is my financial investment, right? We really wanna get a good return on investment. Well, your best return on investment here is to focus on energy that is full of light, energy that is focused on growth, energy that is going to help you to be better, do better, um, treat people better, that kind of stuff, right? So really asking yourself, what energy am I putting out to the world? What is my energetic investment? And what's the payoff that I'm going to get from that, right? Um, or is there room for improvements to be made so that not only do I feel fantastic about the things that I'm doing and the energy that I'm putting out there, but I'm also re receiving a great return on my investment. So definitely take advantage of this energy and let it grow you, let it develop you, let it propel you forward. The energy is moving forward more now. It's it's not rapid, but it is, I, while I say it's not rapid, but I also feel like there is like a beautiful opportunity for like instant manifestation that's happening right now. And um, a lot of things developing and happening. So. I would make room for miracles as well. Be open to miracles. Miracles are normal and natural for me, right? That's a great affirmation. Be open because so many amazing things are, are happening. Hi, Kathy. I'm sorry. I really, I see you guys are commenting and um, I just get in a flow and I forget. But hi to all of you who are watching live. Hi to all of you who are watching on the replay. Let's dive into the cards because these cards really support these messages. So from my deck, the Find Your Magic Oracle card, we have the Earth card. Okay, so I'm definitely getting this message for myself, needing to get out into the woods more, needing to get outside more, to take advantage of this beautiful earth energy that we have. There's something very balancing about this, and I think it's going to allow us to connect with our messages about what we need to do next to just be able to listen to our souls. So get out there, connect with the earth in some way, spend some time in nature. We also have the communication card, which I think if, if not this card has been showing up, we've had a lot of swords showing up in the tarot, right? And that is all about expression, communication. We've been talking about with that, with the energy. So it's, it continues to be a time of truth and speaking your truth and expressing your truth and acknowledging the truth. And um, this maturity that is coming in for us, this deeper understanding of ourselves and, and where we're actually at and what we actually need is going to require us to communicate to the people in our world what it is that we need now. Because again, we need to communicate who we are now. We're not the same people that we were before. We also have here this Four of Wands. This for me is talking about us really finding a beautiful balance. There is like almost like a celebration in this balance that we have found, in this foundation that we have laid, in this, you know, if we talk about like we've laid the foundation of the house, right? We've poured the basement, we've, and I don't build houses, I don't really know, right? But we're, we're now building on the first floor, we'll say. 
Okay, so we are developing, we are progressing, we are building, and we are celebrating it. So take time out to celebrate yourself, to celebrate the work that you've done. This is really powerful. Then we also have the Six of Swords. Opportunities to move away from hardship, from challenges. I think we're looking at some of the challenges, some of the things that we have, quite frankly, tolerated for ourselves and we're saying, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not interested in living my life anymore. It's not even who I am anymore. And I'm ready to move forward into a better energy, a lighter energy, a smoother energy. And so anyone in anything that is going to continue to stay in my world is going to support that, is going to, um, be a part of this this movement but this is also a message that we are supported that our guides and our angels are helping to carry us out of rough waters and into calmer waters into a little bit of a smoother easier time here with this we also have the two of swords right so we may find ourselves a bit in our head as we're in this transitional energy what belongs, what doesn't. And we may find ourselves kind of battling with ourselves in some ways, you know, recognizing where we really are and honoring our truth, but also feeling afraid, also feeling like, you know, it, it's hard. It's hard to make changes. It's hard to um, speak our truth. And so I think that there will be fear, but I think ultimately we will be continuing to progress with this. We're continuing to mature, develop, and progress. We also have the Page of Wands. This is about getting excited again, you know, getting excited about life again, getting excited about the things that we're working on again, maybe finding that one thing that you are excited about, but this is about letting yourself be excited. Um, you know, like, and really framing situations in such a way that are exciting. You know, I had somebody talking um, at my office today, was sharing about something at her work and was framing it in such a way where instead of it's confusing and it doesn't make sense and I don't know, it, it got framed in such a way of like, it's a treasure hunt and I'm, I'm seeking the answers and I'm looking for it here and I'm looking for it there and it became fun. And that's kind of the energy that I'm feeling here is like, how do we make it fun? How do we make it exciting again? How do we open our hearts and ourselves in such a way that we are excited? You know, the page is childlike energy right? This is childlike excitement. And can we tap into that? Can we tune into that and have a little bit of fun? We need more fun right now. We also have the justice card. And this to me is showing up because we're talking about karma. Justice will be served. Trust that it will be served. Trust that it is in motion and trust that whatever energy we are putting out there is going to be received back and trust that that is true for you. That is true for me that is true for everyone. So again, you don't have to do anything uh, to, you know, uh, to make anyone, you know, to get revenge on anyone or anything like that. In fact, again, not recommended. So then we have the two of cups, which is, can be, you know, um, a soul connection coming together, two people coming together that are you know, uh, great for each other, perfect for each other, balanced for each other. But I always feel like a lot of times when this is coming in for a collective reading, that this is about the people, places, and things that we need in our life are being called to us, are coming into our situation. So if you're, you know, working on a project and you need funding, it's like the perfect funder coming in. If you're single and looking for someone amazing in your life, it's like that person that is exactly what you're looking for or um, the person that's bringing in the, the perfect balance energy for you. If you are looking for a new job and you've been putting your intentions out to the universe, that new job being magnetized to you, that's exactly what you're looking for or exactly what you need. And the last card that we have here, speaking of manifestation, is the Magician card. This is my cue to um, remind you, especially here on the solstice, to focus on conscious manifestation. 
putting intentions out there. It doesn't have to be today. It can be just around the solstice, right? It's, it's all about intention anyway, but what do you want to call in for this summer? What do you want to call in be, for this time period between the solstice and the equinox? I've been doing these solstice readings for people. I'm telling you guys right now, we're doing a lot of work this summer at collectively because I can see the themes, but it's like preparing us for another level up in the fall. It's preparing us to um, really step into our own in the fall and and we're progressing and we're working toward that and we're, we're maturing through the summer but we're definitely going to see that but set your intentions put those out there ask for what you want this is also about readiness so I feel like for some of you like you're on the fence like I don't know I don't know if I'm ready I don't know if I've learned enough I don't know if I know enough I don't know if um you know, I can do this thing that this opportunity is coming in. I don't know if I can handle it. You can handle it. This is your message that you can handle it. You've got it. You're ready. The rest is just bullshit. That's fear. It's fear. So release it and let yourself come back to why did you call it into your experience in the first place? So there's definitely some manifestations that are happening, some magic happening this week. The magician is all about magic. The magician is all about miracles and incredible things happening for us. And it's again, because you guys have been doing the work and it's really incredible. So you could probably tell I'm excited about this energy. I think it's going to be overall a great week. I think it's going to be us back in a position of power and feeling like we're empowered and um, feeling like we're ready to move in a positive direction. So I think that this is really exciting. So be open to miracles. Last thing I want to point out, I just, I put this up in my story on Facebook, but I really love it. It's so simple, but it's beautiful intentions for the solstice. So it says, my summer is filled with love. My summer is filled with peace. My summer is filled with healing. My summer is filled with miracles. I think that's a great intention. So if you set no other intention, say that out loud, write it down, however you connect with your intentions, but put that out there. What a beautiful energy for us to be putting out here on the solstice. Happy solstice, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If this video at all resonated with you, make sure you hit that like button below. It's a really great way to um, do an energy exchange. It helps me to pick up on your energy in future readings. It's also a really beautiful way to support my channel and the work that I'm doing. So I really appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe subscribe button if you're watching this on my YouTube. Thank you guys so much. I will see you soon with another video. Take care.